Hey, Phil Play from BadAstronomy.com here doing another live QNBA chat session. And I got a great question from Keith Hallam who asks, is it true that relatively speaking, a human is hotter than the sun? That is, if the sun were the size of a human, then its internal temperature would be less than that of a human. Now, this is a very common sort of an urban myth, a legend that I, I've heard, that if you were to scoop out a chunk of the sun and scoop out a chunk of human and compare them, the human would be hotter than the sun. But it turns out, no, that's just wrong. In, in Celsius, a human's body temperature is 37 degrees. The sun is 5,500 degrees, and it only gets hotter as you go deeper down into the sun. That will be important here in a minute. I'll get to that. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you scoop out any part of the sun. It's going to be hotter than a chunk of human if, if they're the same size. But if you look at it a little more carefully, there's a more subtle thing going on, and you can ask about the amount of energy radiated away or the amount of energy stored in a chunk of human and a chunk of the sun. And it turns out that when you do that, things change a little bit. Now, what I'm talking about here is what's called luminosity. It's the amount of energy an object radiates away every second. Now, the sun is very hot, and it's very big, and so it's very luminous. It turns out the luminosity depends on basically two things. How many square centimeters an object has, how much area it has. So, of course, the bigger it is, the hotter, the, the, uh, the, the more radiant it is, the more luminous it is. And it's temperature. Now, it turns out it's, it's a constant called the Stefan-Boltzmann constant. Don't worry about that. Uh, it's just a number times the area times the temperature to the fourth power. So you have to do this in an absolute temperature scale, and Celsius is not one of those. You have to use Kelvin, which starts at zero and goes up to infinity. In Kelvins, a human being is about 310 Kelvins. That's actually the unit. It's not degrees. It's Kelvins. I know. Don't get me started. So a human is 310 Kelvins, and the sun is about... Uh, 5,700 Kelvins, close enough. And you have to take that to the fourth power. So, of course, the sun is huge, has lots of square centimeters, times, right, its temperature to the fourth power, 5,700 times 5,700 times 5,700 times 5,700. Whereas a human has many fewer square centimeters, right, and you multiply that by 310 by 310 by 310 by 310, you get a much smaller number, which is why the sun is the biggest, brightest thing in the solar system, and 150 million kilometers away, it's still feels warm, whereas a human can stand next to you and you don't, poof, vaporize. So maybe we can even the scale out a little bit. And instead of just talking about total luminosity, do it per square centimeter. How much energy is the sun radiating per square centimeter compared to a human? Then we're comparing apples and apples instead of apples to oranges. And you can do that. You can take the sun's luminosity, divide it by its area, how many square centimeters it has, and do the same thing for a human. And what you find out is that, and I'm going to make sure I get this right, yes, in square centimeters, the sun wins. Oh, the sun is actually giving off far more energy per square centimeter than a human is, and it's by about 120,000 times. So if you were to take a square centimeter of the sun and compare that to a square centimeter of a human, the square centimeter of the sun is blasting out 120,000 times more energy. So again, the uh, legend is wrong. It's wrong when it comes to temperature, and it's wrong when it comes to sort of, you know, the amount of energy radiated per surface area. However, hmm, we can go a step deeper, literally. Ah, we can talk about volume, the third dimension. So instead of talking about the sun's luminosity uh, per square centimeter, we'll look at it per cubic centimeter. We'll take the sun's total luminosity, the energy it's radiating away, divide it by its volume in cubic centimeters. We can do that with a human as well. And I can show you about how what, what a cubic centimeter is. Here's a mini marshmallow. It's roughly a cubic centimeter. I've colored it yellow to represent the sun. Here's one that I've left white to represent my pasty skin. And if I take a cubic centimeter of sun and a cubic centimeter of human, then what happens? Ah, it turns out the sun is so big, it has so many cubic centimeters in it, that when you divide its luminosity by its volume, that number drops hugely. And the humans don't have that much volume, so their number doesn't drop as much. So it turns out in volume units, in cubic centimeters, who wins? Oh, the sun? Oh, uh, human, uh, 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 humans! Humans win. It turns out humans win by a lot. A cubic centimeter of human flesh radiates away 60,000 times, 60,000 times as much as a cubic centimeter of the sun. So in that case, the legend is correct. If you scoop out the sun, you scoop out some human, and you say how much energy is radiated per, per whatever, and, 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 and it turns out, uh, on average, uh, the human wins by a factor of 60,000, a lot. 
But there's one more thing to think about here, and that is I have averaged over the entire sun. And it turns out the surface of the sun is at about 5,700 kelvins. The core is about 15 million kelvins. Yikes! And that makes a huge difference because when you take 15 million and take it to the fourth power, you just get a huge number. And when you do all the numbers, you, you, you take the luminosity, blah, blah, blah. if you compare a cubic centimeter of a human flesh and a cubic centimeter of the center of the sun, the cubic centimeter of the center of the sun completely wins. Oh my gosh. As a matter of fact, a cubic centimeter of the sun's core gives off five quadrillion times as much energy as a cubic centimeter of human flesh. And that's because it is so hot and so it, density plays into this as well. So basically, uh, in this case, the legend is totally blown away because the sun totally blows away a human as long as you're getting down into the core.